In this video, we present our research on developing a serious game for disaster management spatial thinking using geographic information systems technology. This research is being conducted in partnership between the Rochester Institute of Technology, Department of Information Sciences and Technologies, and the United Nations University Institute for Environment and Human Security. Spatial thinking is the idea of using the, the properties of space, such as distance and scale, to structure, solve, and reason about problems. Spatial thinking processes can be supported with a variety of digital interactive tools, such as geographic information systems, or GIS. Disasters are inherently spatial in nature. However, comprehensive integration and understanding of GIS in disaster management practice is still lacking. Additionally, limited support exists for disaster management spatial thinking training. Our research addresses these challenges through a serious spatial thinking disaster management game. Our serious game is being developed inside a commercial GIS environment to provide realism and teach GIS capabilities in the disaster context. The game uses a flexible scenario development environment, allowing for coupling of numerous disaster management scenarios with GIS-supported spatial thinking tasks. Game players do not need GIS software operation knowledge to play and instead can focus on spatial thinking tasks. The following is our coastal hurricane scenario. As you can see, ArcMap is used as the interface. However, non-essential toolbars and options are not included. The scenario is loaded using the Python window. This scenario consists of five questions. The first question asks about the size of a buffer that should be created in order to represent areas affected by a storm surge. Once the option is selected, the buffer is calculated and displayed in real time. The next question deals with displaying ground elevation. Unlike the previous question, there is no geoprocessing executed with this question. Instead, once an option is selected, the appropriate layer file is displayed. This question is designed to make the game player think spatially about geographic representations. Other questions in this scenario deal with hazardous material exposure, affected populations, and determining which geographic areas should be prioritized for medical treatment. Because the game takes place within ArcMap, the user can use GIS functions such as PAN, zoom, and layer display and manipulation to answer questions. Once the user has finished playing through the scenario, they are shown their total score as well as a breakdown of points earned for each question. We are currently using the game to evaluate novice spatial thinking. For example, having game players spatially think aloud or verbally express what they are thinking about when using the game to solve disaster scenario questions. The scientific intent of the spatial think aloud evaluations is to understand how GIS tools are utilized to support disaster management spatial thinking. We also plan to conduct disaster management expert interviews to incorporate expert knowledge into new game scenarios to enhance the spatial thinking learning experience. If you want more information or have questions about the game, feel free to contact us at the following email address.